like the video in five seconds or this fucking spider gonna crawl down your throat, nigga. While you sleeping, my nigga. The fuck? If you don't like my videos, fuck you. All right, y'all, man. Drake back with another video, man. Look, today what we're getting into is we actually gonna go over the bill. Remember I told y'all I was gonna do... Over, we gonna go over the bills of each... We gonna go with specific bill, okay? So... We're gonna go over. I don't know if I should go over the whole backcourt shooter thing as a whole. We'll see how much time we got left at the end of the video. And if it's over 10 minutes, I'll go and we could we could do like two of them in one video. But you see, I got my wing score on showcase, man. So let's let's go into here and let's go and uh, actually. look at the guard bills and we're gonna go backcourt shooter so the backcourt shooter i know y'all saw my video a couple days ago we got 95 three-point shot we also get a 95 shot off dribble you get an 88 mid-range shot 88 contested shot and an 88 dribbling which is really nice so with the curry one we end up getting a 95, I mean an 85 passing. You get a 80, I mean a plus 6 inside shot, plus 12 on your free throw, plus 6 layup, plus 3 rebounding, plus 3 on ball defense, plus 3 speed, and plus 3 stamina. So, we got the chef trait. And we got hitting a three grants to boost your finishing and passing abilities. So this is the Curry build. I feel like this is a good all-around build, especially if you want to be more of a point guard. You want to be a, a floor general that can shoot better than most. And um, yeah. So let's go through the icon path, and we're actually going to look at everything one by one so we got the first upgrade you get and you'll get this like really fast is probably after your first game you get plus three stamina plus three speed and plus four on your free throw which is really nice uh you get your curry jump shot at 10,000 xp 18,000 xp will get you plus three inside shot plus three layup plus four free throw again so you get another another upgrade on your free throw then you get some Curry 2 limited edition shoes, which is like whatever. You know, when they when they put like clothes on here, it's like whatever. Uh, but at the end of each tier, which is really cool, you get an ability. So with the Curry one, you get accuracy boost to inside shooting. Um, or you can get crisper passes with decrease the likelihood of bobble and a catch or a bobble catch. I don't really get bobble catches that much on this game, especially with, you know, I only got a 70 pass accuracy on my Durant build, so I feel like having an 85 pass accuracy, or 85 passing, would make it so it won't happen as much anyway, so I honestly feel like you should go with the accuracy boost to inside shooting, because floaters count as an inside shot, and I would rather be able to throw floaters and make yeah. those type of shots easier than yeah. having crisper passes. I don't know, like, unless you want to, like, go around and throw flashies yeah. and stuff like that and do shit like that, like, I wouldn't recommend doing it. But that boost you get to finishing the passing, yeah. it should make your passes more accurate anyway. So I feel like you shouldn't have to use a skill boost on crisper passes when you can get inside shooting and finish better when you get to the basket. So I would definitely do inside shooting just so you can be more of a scorer. You can be more like Curry. Like I feel like you're not going to be Curry. Well, I feel like you, you are going to be Curry, but I just, I don't know, man. I just wouldn't get the crisper passes. I would definitely get inside shooting. So the very next one that we get is the Curry chest tap. It's just a little dance or a little animation that Curry got. So it's the one where he tap his chest and point up in the air. 
so you can have that as one of your skills or one of your little animation things to do, dances, whatever you want to call it. You get plus three to your on ball defense, so you only go highlight, like, I think, a 73 on ball defense on this build, which is not horrible, but you know, it's not like the best. Um, you get plus three steal as well, and you get plus six on re I mean, plus three on rebounding. Then you end up getting Curry's dribble moves. And how you get Curry's level two dribble moves, really, is actually going and going and um, doing like this little challenge. That's what it is. You do like this little challenge. Um, and then you end up getting the dribble moves, the level 2 curry dribble moves, and then um, you get some more shoots here, the curry 4s, and I, I, I don't know why they put shoes on these charts, like, sure, okay, I guess I can get some shoes, but like, I'd rather just get something related to like curry, like, give me another dance or something, shit. But, um, the last trait here is, sorry, I got like a text message. I'm, um, the last trait here is the icon ability stack upgrade. So you get a third stack to your icon ability, or you can get the timer increased from 60 to 90 seconds. I actually, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I would get this timer increase unless like you one of those people that actually don't take a whole bunch of like you're not gonna be taking shots like a lot. Um, like if you if you hit a three and then you don't take another three for like a while or something like I could see using that or like come up possessions or something. But honestly, I would get the third stack because I would want to be better at something. Like 60 seconds is long enough. That's like freaking two possessions to do something. Like to be able to to get a shot off or something. And 90 seconds, I feel like it's low-key overkill. So I feel like I would get that third stack to finish it because I'll be able to finish at the basket a lot easier. Uh, so I would definitely get the third stack. And this is just my recommendations I feel like that would make your player better. Um, but at the end of the day, it's all up to you. What you want to do is what you want to do. So we get plus three stamina, plus three steal, plus four free throw. Then we end up getting a curry jersey. Then we get plus three uh, layup, plus three inside shot. Then we end up getting curry's layup package, which is really nice because you'll end up being able to do like the high layups off the glass to where people won't be able to, to block you as easily if that makes sense like they, they not gonna like i like curry's layup package on like almost every game especially with that boost of finishing so you, you'll be finishing those layups a lot better um he got a support ability at his final tier upgrade he has Assists have a random chance of grabbing a score or a hot streak, which is cool because if you pass the ball to somebody and they score They can instantly just catch fire and get that mentality boost But I really wouldn't recommend going with that just because a lot of people actually have Like traits and stuff to boost their, to get a hot streak easier So for me, I would go with the ability stack upgrade Making a shot or making a shot with a green release so any shot that's green will grant full stacks. So if I green a three, I'll get the three stacks. And so it'll increase my passing with the three stacks and my finishing. I would definitely go with that one. Because even if you got it full, say you or say like you got one stack and then you green the shot, you just get the two back. Like, so like you you will always have it there if you're good at shooting. So I feel like that would be the best thing to have because it'll make you better all around in general. Like you'll be able to just keep your stacks up, have that better passing, and then you'll always have that extra finishing because you're not going to be driving as much, especially like on a on a shooting build. So 
I would definitely have that green release with red full stack. So I feel like that's the best way to set up the Curry build on this game. And we're just hitting 10 minutes, so I'm not going to actually do the Ray Allen one. That's going to be a separate video. But I do feel like this build, this Curry build here, is probably the the best if you the best shooting build if you want to be like all around like this is definitely like a trey young curry type build like this one is completely different this this is a shooter this is like somebody who just want to score bro like i like this build though so we're gonna go over this build a lot of these traits i actually didn't go through myself and talk about them so i'll just be like when i talk about some of the stuff i may be like astounded myself looking at them but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoy. Um, we gonna have the Ray Allen build video either tomorrow or the day after. It depends on when I get to it. But I hope you guys enjoy. And uh, yeah, man, comment, rate, subscribe. I have more videos for you guys later. All right, peace.